This is Dr. Carroll, and this video is about debugging in BlueJay. Now, if you use an IDE that's not BlueJay, a lot of the concepts are going to carry over, so this can still be beneficial. So, let's in BlueJay, you can double click on the class there, and it'll pull up the code. I just put this together to illustrate a point here. So, we look we're trying to debug this index of first non-ascending method and you could think something like a code workout or something like that and it's going to take an array of values and we're trying to find the index of the first time that a value increases so we have a simple loop here and it returns negative one if they're all increasing so down here in main we have three arrays that are um, initialized with values just really quickly to to serve as examples we're creating a new debugging example that's this class name and then we're calling index of first non ascending and passing it this array and recording the return value and then we're just displaying that so if we compile it yay it compiles and then we run it a right click main execute it index of first non-ascending great it returned negative one because they're all ascending but wait these are descending okay good it returned one but wait index of first non-ascending one two one two it returned negative one something's not right and so let's let's look into this so what we can do is after it's compiled we can set a breakpoint so we could and the way we set a breakpoint in BlueJay is we click over here in the margin and we we should see a red stop sign now it needs to be saved and it needs to compile or it can't have the breakpoint now what the breakpoint does for us is when we execute it's going to execute up into that breakpoint and then stop and now it pulls up this window here and we can explore, for example, if we click on this red square, this is our integer array, array one, and it's got values one, two, three, four, five, and it has five of them. So the one we're really interested in is this array three, it has one, two, one, two, and there's, there's four of them. And we can see that return value is one from the previous one. Now what we can do is we need to adjust this window size and notice these are the local variables and if we're dealing with an object there's in, instance variables and static variables and if we call a method it'll be shown here so we are right before the part that we think is going wrong so we can click step into and, and you can see that it is highlighting this line now and what I recommend is you think before you click and say what should this do next? Okay, so we're gonna start at one. It says start at one to be able to compare the previous value or the previous index. And let's see, one is less than the array length. Well, we can look at that, the array length. Well, maybe you can't look at it. Um, is four, so yes, one is less than four. We, sh we should walk into that. So let's go step and uh, I is one. And so it's comparing two against one. And um, that we're good, right? And so we, we can move on. So if we do step, it immediately, ah, returns negative one. Ah, so notice I have this if else here. And as soon as it hits return, we're done with not only the loop, but the method overall. And so we hadn't even looked at the rest of the array. So we can, we need to terminate this before we can run it again. So if we, if we decide to remove this code, because if statements don't have to have an else, it's only if we find a problem, return the index, otherwise return the, the flag for it being okay. Now, if we go to compile it, says it's changed, but we need to terminate this execution first, then we can compile it. Oh, 
sorry, uh, it lost the breakpoint. So we need to put the breakpoint back in and now run it. And we run until this breakpoint. See here, we want to step into. Let's make sure it's step. Okay, so let's look at this array again. So it is one, two, one, two. So we're at index one. It should say yes. Two is greater than one, so we're okay. But then the next one we should have a problem. So let's do step. Yep, good. Now we're at two, so we're looking at index two. Is it less than index one? And it is, and that's a problem. So then we return that index to indicate that it is a problem. And sure enough, it, it worked. And we can display that, and then we can look at the, the, the output here, and it's, I've run it several times, sorry. Return two here to say zero, one, two. Yep, this is the index of there's a problem here. And these first ones also worked, but they are testing all of them. So there you go. There's a simple example of using the BlueJ debugger to be able to see what's going on in your code, to see the local variables, to see the instance variables, the values of the array, to help you understand program structure and what's going wrong and how to fix that. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.